what is shaking everyone i'm back with a memorial day special video for you it's not going to be cards today but it's going to be another throwback to the 90s and the late 80s the starting lineups I've uh, accumulated quite a few through you now the years, I guess. My quite a few, I don't know, what do I got? Two, four, six, eight unopened ones, and I got my loose ones that I've had for many, many moons that have been on display in many different places throughout their lives. So I'm just going to run through them quick and uh, call it a video. Now, for some reason... I've got two Wade Boggs. No idea why. No idea why I've got two of these. But we've got, if you don't know, on the bottom of these, on their uh, stands for their feet, it's got the year they were made. So that's an 88. I think that's the first year that starting lineups were made. So that's a Wade Boggs starting lineup rookie action figure. And no, I don't really play with these often, but there are times where I have to bring them out of uh, bring them out of the box and set them up for different events. And this here would be the '89 Bogs, which actually it's supposed to look something like that. He has already hit the ball in this. You can almost smell the chicken. But yeah, here on the bottom of the foot stand, bam. Major League Baseball, 1989. The white uniform is his 88. Um, these aren't worth a damn thing if you pull them out of the boxes. I don't know. Maybe there's some rare variations or something like that. But not that I know of. These were crazily overproduced just like everything else. But I will say this. They have been going up the last couple weeks for the first time ever. And certain old ones actually have some some actual value to them, which I'll get into that a little bit. I've got one here that's very, it's obscure, but valuable. But that is not this one. This one here is what, 94? 1994, Albert Bell. The bat's getting a little crooked. Albert's been through a lot. I used to have him and uh, Mark and Ron Harper all mounted on a little thing that I displayed proudly. More recently than what I care to admit, actually, I've done that. But yeah, here you go. Once again, the 94. Albert, do not call me Joey Bell. Although it does not look like Albert Bell. It really doesn't look like Albert Bell. Looks more like, I don't even know. That does not look like Albert Bell. Ooh. All right. Also, I've got an 88 Mark Price. This is probably quite valuable, actually, if it was in the, in the blister pack still. I believe 88 is the inaugural year for these. And as we all know, Mark Price was a badass. An Olympian. Olympic gold medalist Mark Price. Quite possibly my favorite Cavalier of all time. Love this dude. Love this dude. His short little shorts. Look at him. And then, also in 1988, the recently made famous again, Ron Harper starting lineup. I always thought this was crazy. I got the Price and the Harper probably around the same time. But Ron Harper is a fairly, uh, fairly, this also does not look like Ron Harper, by the way. Matter of fact, now that we look a little closer, I don't know. Did all black men have mustaches in 88? Uh, Actually, the Bell's a 94. But they look strikingly similar, don't they? Anyhow, that being said, moving right along, Ronnie Harper uh, would come into the place I work quite a bit. Obviously, before the... Uh, Jordan documentary aired I did not you know I knew he played for those Bulls teams and I, I used to say that when he'd come in I'd say hey do you realize that there's someone here right now that has what was it four or five championship rings I mean, I mean like it's real Ron Harper 
you know, he's standing right there, and this guy played with Jordan and has the rings to prove it. I could never really get over that. I was a little starstruck by Ron Harper, but he used to come in enough that it wasn't really that big of a deal. I should have had him sign the starting lineup, but when I'm at work, I don't really... I see a lot of pro athletes, and I don't mess with them. I feel like it's not real professional doing what I do for a living to start asking for autographs. All right, next up, I actually just recently picked this up somehow. Paid five bucks for it. But we have the... What year is this? Don't know offhand what year we got. Trying to read it on the back. I probably should have looked at that before I did it. 93. 1993, Horace Grant. It's got a uh, top stadium club card and his starting lineup card. Um, I picked this. I paid five bucks for it, but I picked it up because the bowls are hot. Uh, I'll probably sell it. I'm not uh, I'm not attached to it. I haven't had it for a long time. Well, I had it for a short time, actually. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a little trick. If you do happen to be one of us crazy people that collect starting lineups, I'll show you uh, the best way to protect them. All right, I'm going to go straight old school, see if I can keep people from tuning tune out of the video too early. What we have here is the 1989 Chris Spielman rookie starting line. The great Chris Spielman, Ohio State Buckeye, Maslin Tiger, Buffalo Bell, Cleveland Brown, kind of Cleveland Brown. But yeah, this baby here I purchased from my local card store in 1989. I think I paid 10 bucks for it at the time. Yeah, you know, there was no internet back then, so when you saw something like this, you had to grab it. Now, it's uh, in pretty poor shape, but this baby has been with me for, well, 30-some years now. I'm surprised it's in the condition it is. I mean, this thing has moved to college with me. It's been through a divorce, several kids. This baby has been around the block. And as I was saying, this is an 89, and it's a pretty obscure player. Unfortunately, shouldn't be. Anyone who watched him plays knows what I'm talking about. And he also, by the way, <laughs> looks an awful lot like a white version of Ron Harper, don't he? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I was looking at the comps on this, and I think there are some sold, a couple sold for like 70 bucks on eBay. But uh, there's a whole, there's a bunch of them listed for like 150 On the backs of these, I got the whole, and this is an old one, 89, like I said, but it's got the whole uh, list of who's on what's, what team. I didn't... Uh, properly care for this one. Like I said, man, this thing has moved with me probably 15 times through the years. Always laid on top of my big 6,000 count or whatever the hell it is box that I always moved with me. But anyhow, there's the, uh, there's the Spielman for you. I'll run through the rest of these pretty quick, then I'll show you my little trick for uh, taking care. You know what? I'm going to show you now because most of you tune off before the video is halfway done. Alright, when you have graded cards or you know, you pull a card, you want to put it in a top loader. You have a graded card, you want to put it in a sleeve. Here's what I do with my starting lineups. That's right, folks. The one-gallon great value slider zipper bags. 20 bags, gallon size, available at every Walmart in the country. Just so happen to hold a starting lineup perfectly. You want to start with the uh, player end, put that in first, be gentle. Now if you got any of those uh, double, you know, the ones with two, uh, you have to figure something else out. I wish I would have figured this out 30 years ago so I wouldn't have uh, damaged this, uh, the blister pack as much as I did over the years with this. But yeah, any old starting lineups that you're sitting on, throw them in a gallon sized storage bag. Perfect size. It's the, uh, the graded card sleeve of starting lineups. So that's about it for the relevant information in this uh, video. Now I'm just going to run through the rest of the starting lineups that I currently own. Some of these will be going up for sale if the price keeps going up. I'm not. I'm attached to the Spielman and the, and the open ones. Other than that, I'm probably, I'll am probably sell them if the price is right. I was picking these up uh, two for five bucks for ages. <coughs> Excuse me. A little dry, 
dry COVID cough. Um, yeah, two for five dollars for many many moons, and I didn't just I didn't just buy anybody, not at all. I I just picked up players that I liked, or players that I thought were good. I just I I have a hard time walking past these for two fifty a piece. What we got here is the nineteen ninety nine Chipper Jones Hall of Famer. Again, there's a million of these printed, but right now for the first time in ever people are nostalgic about uh about the 80s and 90s the junk wax era if that's what you want to call it so i'm cool with that i don't know if i'm making any sense at all but hey it's memorial day half of you're probably drinking drinks barbecuing while i'm here grinding out starting lineup videos for you all right, next up we have got, I don't even know the year. I actually just picked this thing up for $250 right before all the McGuire talk started uh, recently. So this is a 99 Mark McGuire home run record breaker. The record breaker uh, starting lineup card in there. Mark McGuire starting lineup. I like that. See how they evolved over the years? See how much bigger the base is on that? My boy Price, that base is tiny. I can barely keep this guy standing up. The McGuire, <laughs> I mean, just compare. And they also updated the faces, too, which is kind of nice. Those guys look nothing alike. But a lot better technology in 99 than back in 88 when the price was made. So anyhow, here's the Meguiar. I'm pretty proud of this one. I just picked this up the other day for $2.50. One hell of a tight end. Definitely not the guy you want your... Uh, definitely not the guy you want your daughter in the hot tub with, though, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, Chewy. Oh, Chewy. Boy, he sure disappeared fast, didn't he? Mess around with the high school girls, and you never heard another word about him. What if Brett Favre ever called him after that? I bet you they remained friends. Brett had his issues. Remember, he got busted with Vicodin or something in Cleveland in his youth. At the basement of all places. And I don't know if any of you are from Cleveland, but the basement was uh, some kind of bar, let me tell you. Anyhow, what we got here is the 97 Chewy, Mark Chimura. Banished from the league after uh, an incident in a hot tub with a high school girl. Like his, what is it, a babysitter, a daughter's friend, something crazy. But, hey, it's Chewy. He's only human. Um, I picked this up the other day for like $2.50 just because I saw him starting to go up. I figured, what the hell, I'll grab me a Chewy. I got no problem with that. Next up. We've got the 99, I think it's 99, Randy Johnson in the Houston Astros uniform. I'm a big fan of the big unit. I've got most of his rookie cards for sure. The big freaking unit. All right, two more to go, and then we'll wrap this baby up. You guys get back to your barbecues or whatever it is you do on a day like this. Next up, we got the 2000 Pedro Martinez. Again, like I said, man, I was picking these up for two for five bucks. So I think I got the Randy Johnson and the Pedro together. They were just too damn cool for me to, too cool for me not to, to buy at that price. The problem is they're kind of big. They're kind of goofy to store. The good thing is I figured out the gallon storage bag idea. <laughs> Boy, Randy don't look too good there. Damn. I figured out the idea with the storage bag, so that keeps the dust and shit off of them. If you look at my Spielman, well, I'm not going to get it back out, but the blister's all cloudy. There's dust around it. it. It's got some damage, but it's just from being moved around and displayed and everything else for the last 30-some years. But yeah, the gallon, gallon storage bag thing is a big deal. And last but not least, purchased at a Kmart for $5.99. Purchased by yours truly at a flea market for $2. The 1994 Frank Thomas starting lineup. Again, you know, if I saw cool ones, I bought them. And you've seen every one I own, I think. I feel like I might have a couple more, but I don't know where the hell they are if I do. But there you go, guys. The 94... Frank Thomas starting lineup. So yeah, the crown jewel of my collection is without question the Spielman. No doubt about it. 
that's my ride or die. Had it from uh, day one when I first got back into collecting uh, in eighth, seventh, eighth, ninth grade, something like that. That was one of my early purchases because I am a Spielman collector faux show. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this video. Thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to leave a comment. I try to reply to everyone. I think I'm more or less caught up. I'm not going to go back any further. So if you commented more than like three weeks ago and I never commented back, I promise you I read it. I just was going through some things. I'm always going through a thing. So sometimes I'm feeling good about the comments. Sometimes I'm not. Right now I'm on a roll, so feel free. But anyhow, uh, you get the idea. What is it? Subscribe, like, comment? Is that how you're supposed to say it? I think so. Later!